Hi guys, this video will be a DIY on color and glitter acrylic mix. I do have a previous one that I made. It's a lot older. This is a new updated one. And I will also be doing a giveaway on the powders that I will be making on this video. So I use Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic Powder. That is what I use as my base. I will also be using OPI Crystal Clear and Perfect White. And Yogi Flex both in pink and bright white. Now you can use any other colors. Um, these are the pigments I will be using. They're from Shani. They are from Amazon. I will be using the No Lift Nail Monomer as well as my Morton Pestel. I think I'm saying it right. And this is how I mix my powders. I'm also using a really tiny spoon and my cuticle pusher as well as a glass container. So I will be putting around two and a half of the spoonfuls. You can measure however you please. On my older video, I do a lot more amounts. This one, I'm doing it very tiny. I'm doing about an ounce, an ounce and a half, no more than two ounces. On my previous video, I do two ounce, two ounce measurements. So that way you can see that video if you want to do a more bulk amount. And you do a very tiny amount of these pigments. They are shown on the website to be used for eyeshadows or any other cosmetic things you want to use them for. Um, I'm just using them for pigment just for the color and they have a little very tint of shimmer in them so it just helps my acrylic look a lot different than your regular acrylic solid colors. And one thing I will tell you is in making your own acrylic colors it takes a lot of labor. It takes a lot out of you and my hands are not what they used to be. I do have fibromyalgia so it's very hard. I no longer fully make color acrylics unless um, I need a custom color that I can make myself then I will do that but it's just a lot of work on top of I already have a ton of acrylic colors but the glitters I just keep making those glitters they're so easy and they come out beautiful so this is how it starts to look once it's getting close to fully done it does become a lot more puffy and full if that makes any sense than your regular acrylic color that is because you're doing this by hand. I'm sure if you had your own machine, it would grind it so much finer and easier. And I'm just showing you the brush I'll be using. It is the Alpha brush. I did switch. It is the number 9 oval Alpha brush. I do have a link and a code down below if you want to try them. It is one of my favorite brushes. And I do switch from the pointy nail tips to these because I actually wanted to use these powders as a giveaway. So I don't want to use a ton of the powder. I'd rather include it in the giveaway to give out. And this is how they will look after being bagged. And the way I clean it is I spray it with some alcohol and I grab my towel and I just clean off any dust or particles, anything that was left on there. And then I will move on to my next color. And if there's any pigment or color, anything stuck in there because of acrylic monomer, then you can just grab some acetone, let it sink in there for a second, and then wipe it right off. Now I'm going to show you the second way you can do this, is by putting the pigments in first with a little bit of acrylic powder. This is white, and if you put white in the base of the color, it just pops the color more. It gives it a nice base using the white. If you just do the color with clear, you get a little bit more of a sheer color. So I wanted to show you guys that this is the newer way that I do it now. I blend the color in first, the pigment, with just a little bit of either white or clear before I apply the rest of the clear or color that you're choosing to put in. Because this saves me time. It's a lot easier. There's less clumps. When I do put the clear on here, you will see some of the clumps, but these are clumps that come off easily. They dissolve very easily. And if you put the clear acrylic first and then the colors, there's so many tiny, tiny little beads of color that you have to really blend in there. And it takes a big toll out of you. So this is where I'm putting the two and a half spoonfuls of the clear. Like I said, it doesn't have to be this portion. This is just what works for me. So it's really just testing it on trial and error and seeing what works for you. And you can see there's some little balls, but they're dissolving so much easier than they would be if I did it the other way around. And yes, like I said, this takes a toll out of you. So if you want to save money and you have the products or you don't mind spending on the pigments and you have a lot of acrylic color then i would say do this it's definitely worth it if you want to build up your acrylic collection 
but it is just labor. <laughs> That's something that I just realized. It is a lot of work. Now I'm just testing out all the colors so you can see. This is a really pretty peachy color. Now another thing I will tell you is when you make your own color acrylics, if you grab really small beads and you work with really small beads, the bead that is already laying on the nail bed will be a little bit different tint than the new bead that you put. So you want to make sure that you work with a little bit bigger brush, grab a lot more liquid, so that you grab one, maybe minimum two beads, so that you have a nice solid color and you don't see that pigment dis distinguished. So that has to do a lot with your blending. If you don't blend it enough and it's just it's very hard sometimes to not get it fully 100 percent blended so if you want to make this something that you want to do as your career then i would suggest spending on a blender specifically for powders so that it does the work for you instead of you doing it now i'm going to get into my glitters and how i get into them the first one was from aliexpress this one i don't remember but this specific one is from TKB Tradings and I get all my cosmetic glitters from there. And that this one is the Adam and Eve. It's such a beautiful color. And this one, I think it's from AliExpress. I don't remember to be honest with you. I get a ton of glitters from different places. And you get your clear bowl. And I do about three spoonfuls. You can do two and a half. But since there's a chunky glitter that I'm using here, I want to make sure that I have enough acrylic base to be able to blend it really nice. Sometimes when you mix the glitters and make your own acrylic glitter, it comes out very clumpy, very dry. And that is simply because there's not enough acrylic base on there to hold the glitter. So, and if it comes out too transparent and too runny, then you have too much clear acrylic. Look at that beautiful Adam and Eve color. It's so nice, the holograph. It's barely any in the back, in the little pouch, but whatever there is, it just pops. And I'm just mixing them, trying to match them a little bit to the solid colors that I made. And this is the easiest thing to do, you guys. I rarely buy any glitter acrylics anymore. I make my own glitter acrylics. I love glitters in general, so I like making my own. It's just easy. It's fun. That's all it takes. You could even pop this all in a, in a little baggie and shake it. But I just wanted to show you guys here how when, you know, you blend it in together, that whole feeling of watching this. <laughs> And yeah, I just mix it. And then after I am satisfied with this, I go ahead and put it in the little baggie. Now, every time you use this, I would recommend to always shake your container, even the solid ones, because sometimes the clear tends to settle and the glitter will pop out, but then there will be no clear. And I'm just showing you how it looks. And it's so pretty. This color is so, so pretty. The little pink, purple iridescent glitter I put on there, it just reflects so nice with the dark base. Um, a recommendation I would suggest is if you want a full coverage glitter, always make sure you have a glitter base, which means a very fine glitter as your base, no matter the color, and then doing a chunkier glitter to have that reflection with the light. If you want to do more of a transparent glitter and you want just chunky glitters and kind of have that see-through nail, then I would suggest just clear acrylic and chunky glitter with no fine or really tiny glitter on it that way that pops now i'm going to show you the next color this is from aliexpress and i do label all my glitters this one is either from ebay or aliexpress this is from tkb train trading and it's a unicorn color and it is also a very uh more of a pigment glitter this is red planet from tkb and the glitters i'm showing you from tkb trading those i got to do my own eyeshadows. So I created my own eyeshadow palettes and their glitter palettes. So I'll link that video down below if you want to know how to make your own glitter eyeshadows. And it is super easy, you guys. And if you buy all the supplies, you can make a ton of them and you'll get your money's worth. I know I made some and I gave some out as presents as well as I kept some myself. But I haven't done any updated ones on that. And then I've had the glitter and I'm like, I can just do more nail art with this glitter. And this is the really fine background glitter that I'm going to be using, the, the pink one, the hot pink one. And then the other colors would just be fillers for that. So yeah, you can just honestly mix any kind of glitters. But like I said, the chunkier the glitter is, the more acrylic you'll need. The finer and thinner glitter it is, the less acrylic you will need. 
and I mix it the same way with my cuticle pusher and I always clean it in between and I do clean the bowl with alcohol just like I did with my marble container that way it is always fresh and clean for your next set now reminder you guys this is going to be a giveaway which means every single color I am making on this video and any other color I make off camera that I include in this video will be given away to one of you guys okay so just keep an eye out for that you just have to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel that you follow me on Instagram and also don't forget to comment down below one of your favorite acrylic brands or acrylic colors anything within that category I would be so interested to know so like I said just make sure you do those three things follow me on my Instagram subscribe to my channel and comment down below your favorite either brand or color or glitter acrylic and I'll look into those and I also will check because I know that there's some people that do all those steps and then I don't want someone chosen that didn't make the effort to try so I want to make sure I am fair with everybody and I will do this raffle so that somebody can win these seven colors to create your own acrylics. Plus, I will include the nail tips with the swatches in the giveaway. And these are all the blues that I will be using for the blue glitter mix. This glitter is from Dollar Tree. So I get the Dollar Trees. They are exactly in these containers. These glitters are beautiful. They do not bleed so they work really nice with clear they hold up now there's some glitters that will bleed so you got to make sure where you buy them from um, this glitter is from TKB trading like I said I buy a ton of my glitters from them and they're affordable they are a few dollars for a certain amount of grams but they last you a long time I've already done so many glitter nails so many makeup eyeshadows and I still have a lot of this glitter this one is also from TKB trading but this is more of a pigment glitter and when it hits the monomer, it just does something to it. I can't explain it like a metallic vibe. And this glitter is from AliExpress, the navy blue. And I did buy it in, in a bulk. So I'll put the link down below where I buy a whole bulk. I think it's like 20 or 10 of them. I can't remember. Um, it is a little bit on the pricier side. But you get such beautiful solid glitters. Like just normal glitters. And then you have the holographic glitters as well. And they're so worth it if you're planning to do this or anything in that category. And I'm just showing you the blue and I'm going to be swatching this. And like I said, if you feel it's a little too crumbly, too dry, then you definitely have to add a little bit more of a clear acrylic. But if you don't want to add more clear because you don't want it to be more separate, you want it to be a full glitter nail, then just make sure that your brush is a lot more wet than normal so that your bead is nice and wet and you can spread this glitter very nicely now I wanted to show you uh, this last color this blue now with this color these shiny eyeshadow pigments do have a very little like mica glitter in them you can barely see them you can't really see too much so I just wanted to show you how you would go about adding glitter to your solid colors and to be honest with you I prefer the glitter on the solid than just the solid colors simply because I feel like the glitter covers any imperfection and adds so much more dimension to the solid color with the solid one if you don't grab the right amount of beads or have the right amount of water to water <laughs> the right amount of monomer to powder ratio you will see that offset of color so the glitter just blends it really nice and gives it a nice smooth transition so this is the glitter i'm using it is already a pre-made glitter from glam and glitz and i just add that much to it and i mix it don't be afraid to blend in the glitter don't be afraid that you're gonna shred it or anything like that just go ahead and blend it and it just gives this really beautiful I don't know how I can't explain it it just adds to the color it gives a solid color but then it gives a little bit of shimmer so you can always add glitters and that's what I would recommend so if you want that really pigmented color but just enough glitter this is the way to do it
Okay, you guys, that ends my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just remember, if you want to win this giveaway, there'll be one lucky winner that will win all these seven colors, the swatch sticks, and the acrylic powders. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you on my next video.